What is up, people? Today, I have a fantastic video for you, I believe. This is the 10 best free plugins for Reason. This includes Reason 12, basically any version of Reason that will play VSTs. This includes the best plugins for you that will enhance your abilities and capabilities in Reason, and these plugins are all free. Um, some of these are rack extensions and some of these are VST plugins. They all work great in Reason. Now, one thing I'm going to say is that some of these do require to give you your email. So if you're one of those people that are like, Hey, Evan, I have to give my email, so this isn't really free. Get out of here. Email for these free plugins is fair. Many of these are from the same company, so it's one email to get many, many of these free plugins. Um, I'm also going to just let you know that if you really are interested in taking Reason even to the next level beyond all these free plugins, um, I have a cheat sheet that is going to teach you all of the main devices in Reason. You can download that at the link below for free so you can make sure that you're getting everything possible out of all of the regular Reason devices and then add these tools on top. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through these devices. I'm going to tell you why I think they really add something to Reason and let you know that there are links down below to download all of these directly. Um, these are affiliate links, so if you were to purchase something as well, I'd get a commission, but no need to do that. These are just free plugins that are all And if I've left out any essential plugins, please do let me know in the comments down below. Awesome. Um, and the first thing I want to say is like, so these are not free synths. There are a lot of great free synths and other instruments out there. Plugin Boutique's got a ton of them and I can put a link to this, but that's not what I want to focus on here. These are s plugins that really add features that aren't necessarily included in Reason. These are just like kind of, it, at least some of these are glaring features that are missing from Reason. Uh, these are smaller features, but are really helpful to have. And so all of these plugins that I've picked today are designed to help you extend the capabilities and capacity of Reason. So let's jump into it. The first one is Remark by Selig. Selig is a great developer, a great guy, gives lots of helpful feedback in the forums. Um, and this is called Remark. Basically what it does is it lets you literally leave notes to yourself, like turn down the bass super duper helpful to have these types of notes for you as you are going around recording your tracks right you can make notes to yourself you can also um you know leave multiple notes you can be like uh third note is flat whatever it is and you can have these on every track right you can reorder them. You can have as many of these instances as you want. They'll pop down really small so they don't get in the way. I find this very helpful, especially if like you've got an idea and you don't have time to fix it, or you've got an idea and you're working on another idea and you want to keep it in your mind and you can keep it all organized by having it right in your rack as opposed to having a notebook, which is also helpful, but I find this to be really easy. Next up, we have uh, another rack extension, the, I think it's called AB Switch by Pongasoft. And this basically just lets you choose between two different sound sources or two different CV sources. And this can be really helpful if you're trying to audition which sound is better. You route two different sounds into the input A and input B, and they go into the output. You can just toggle between A and B with a flick of a switch. This is also super helpful when you're mixing and mastering and you want to use your reference track. So let's listen to how this works, right? I've got two Rex loops here. They're the same drum loop. They're just pitched differently, which sometimes you want to do to be like, hmm, does this sound better at this pitch or that pitch? And you'll probably hear a bass line as well, but we're just a B in the drums. And from this, I would say that it tastes, sounds better. It doesn't taste better. Uh, it sounds better with this first selection, A. So that's what we're going to go with. These can be really, really helpful to use, um, especially, like I said, with mixing and mastering. Again, free plugin. Next up, 
We have the soft tube saturation knob. This is a fantastic plugin for adding just a hint of grit without overdoing it. There's a lot of distortion and saturation tools in Reason, but none of them are quite as subtle, but also precise as the saturation knob. And I find that this is the sort of thing that you could put on every track at like between like one and three or something, and it would probably enhance your mix overall because it's just gonna add in a little bit more saturation and harmonic content. You also have three different styles, one where it doesn't really saturate the lows, one where it doesn't saturate the highs, and one where it saturates neutrally across all bands, which is the default. So let's just listen to the drums with the saturation turned up, and then we'll pop through the modes a little bit. Breaking up. Keep the lows. And we'll get off. So, it's a really helpful tool. Sounds good on just about everything, especially in lower doses, but you can also use it for sound design stuff up top. Next up, we have a very controversial plugin, which I love to hate and I hate to love. Uh, this is OTT by Xfer Records. This is a upward and downward compressor. Reason doesn't do upward compression, and it's not that easy to do multiband compression in Reason either, although it's totally possible. Um, but essentially, use this sparingly. It's one of those things that will sound kind of good at first, and then like you go back and listen to your mix, and you're like, no, I totally, totally destroyed this mix. But this is really good to put on tracks when like, it's not the main part that you want to hear, it's like something subtle in the background. So you'll hear when we turn it on the drums, it'll bring out like the ring and like the back end of the snare and the room sound much more. So this can be really good on a like drum room effect. This is also, I really like to use it on like lo-fi songs where I've got layers of texture, like, you know, the rain falling or something where it can bring out more detail but it also kind of ruins the sound. Um, but sometimes all you need is that little bit of detail and you don't really care about the sound when it's just a supporting vibe that it's adding. Uh, but like if you throw this on your main bus, it's gonna just ruin everything. And it might sound good at first, but it really, trust me, it isn't good. If you put this on your leads or your bass, it's probably not gonna sound good, but it can do a lot of fun stuff. We'll just listen to it on and off. I'm not gonna do a demo of this or a full review, but I really do recommend having this in your arsenal. So this is it on by just the standard settings. Can also be really good used as a parallel send on drums if you want to bring out some of that smack and room sound. Um, so can't recommend it enough. This, the, we're coming to some of my, my two favorite plugins right here. Like I said, there's links to download everything below. These are all free. The TB Pro Audio MV Meter. This thing I use literally nonstop. This is just a um, VU meter and it meters things in a really helpful way. Basically, if you're trying to do gain staging, you just want everything to be ending up right around zero for your gain staging portion. Um, when you mix, you're gonna wanna be at different levels on the mixer, perhaps, but if you're hitting around here, you're doing a great job. And this is balanced, because this is by default, it's eight, eight, negative 18 uh, dB FS, I believe. And so um, what I like to do is just, as I add plugins, make sure that I'm adjusting the gain in between to keep hitting around this stage. And the reason I like this more than the built-in um, meters in Reason uh, up here, uh, the big meter here, is because A, I think it's easier to read, but more importantly, and I didn't just do that, is you can keep it open. So if unless you're at the very top of the screen with your Reason rack, you can't actually see the big meter in Reason like if you're down here trying to gain stage. With this, you can just keep it open, move it around. You can see it from the mixer view. 
you can see it uh, you know if you're working on the sequencer and you want to uh, make sure the note isn't too loud whatever it is this is just much more helpful and much clearer to me and it has more detail because this is really the only spot we care about for gain staging purposes uh, free awesome the next plugin and I cannot speak highly enough of this is loop cloud loop cloud is both a service which lets you like subscribe to get free soft or free loops and samples that's all well and good it's as good as any other service i recommend it if you're into that if you're not into that that's fine but where loop cloud excels is as a piece of sample management software so you can load it up as a plugin into your session and then you open it up here and like you can search for you can use any samples you own, right? You could load all of Reason's factory library into here, all of it, and it will search for it. So we could, you know, go by instruments and we'll just go with synth bass, whatever. And um, you'll see, these are all the synth basses that I own from When you use it as plug, so you can easily find whatever you're looking for, either by tone, by length, by stereo width, by the key that it's in. You can automatically change the key. You can lock the key so that like it forces all of your samples, it pitches them all down um, by BPM, by swing, one shots on attack. Um, you can search by so much. You can favorite things. It backs it up into the cloud. It is everything you would want the new reason browser to be but even better and the cool thing is that when you use it in the plugin form it syncs to the tempo and the position of your daw so like right now if i hit play here we have to also sorry i need to activate the loop to play so and now if we hit plug, stop here, and it stops at the same time. If we were to slow down the tempo of the loop, the thing you'll notice is that it is also stopping and starting at the same point as the loop, so or as the song, right? So. It's not starting from the beginning of the loop every time I hit play. It's continuing through and it is synced up to the loop or synced up to the song. So this makes auditioning tracks and lines and stuff really easy because it is still halfway through now on this new uh, loop, which is twice as long. I cannot speak highly enough of this. It is such an easier way to find and locate your sample. The one caveat, this one not only requires a email, it also requires a credit card. You sign up for a free seven day trial, just cancel it and you get to keep the software. If you don't have a credit card, then this one probably isn't for you. But if you do sign up, uh, I mean, Loop Cloud's a good service. If you want more samples, a lot of us don't need more samples, especially if you're on Reason Plus, but this provides the software for free, which you get to keep. You also get to do cool stuff with this. You can like, there's all sorts of ways to chop up the samples, for example, um, and built-in effects and stuff, so you can remix on the fly. Like. You can also put multiple loops together. You can, if you have the more advanced subscriptions, you've got all these effects built in. It's a really cool plugin. The next free plugin is a rack extension um, by, I don't even remember who at this point. Um, this, no, this is Red Rocks Audio. Uh, the RE181, it's a mid side converter. If you don't know about mid side, then just ignore this. It's an advanced processing technique that gives you more control over your mix, your stereo fields. It's also a really great way to ruin your songs. Um, but with this tool, basically you can 
convert like you know standard EQs into mid side EQs. Uh, you can convert compressors into mid side compressors. It's a little awkward, but it works just fine. You basically would your left becomes your side, your right becomes your mid, and then you would run this out to a couple of EQs and run them back in. Um, but speaking of you know mid side, that's where we get to a couple of plugins. Now these next three that I'm going to show you, I don't have installed on my computer. I've used them before; they're great. But I now have more advanced plugins than these, so I don't, I don't have these anymore. I just I use paid plugins that do this. But this is Blue Cat's Triple EQ, which is a fantastic free EQ. It's cool because it does mid side built in. You don't need to go through fancy wiring. It's a simple, straightforward EQ. And if you want to get started with mid side EQ, I would say this would be the place to go because it's just more manageable. Pop it into mid side mode and then you can start learning mid side EQ without also having to worry about, you know, routing and things like that. And mid side EQ is really powerful. I use it on usually a couple of times per mix. It's certainly not my go to and I'm not a pro at it, but it is a really helpful tool. I would recommend this a lot. The second one is Transperk. This, if you do, have not used a transient shaper until now, I cannot recommend it enough. Transient shapers essentially kind of do what we want a compressor to do and kind of do what we want a, kate, uh, a gate to do, but a little more subtly potentially and with a little more control. So essentially with a tra uh, transient shaper, you can increase or decrease the attack of a sound so you can make your kick hit harder or softer and a really good combination of this is to make your kick maybe hit a little harder and make your bass hit a little softer and that way they can sit together you can also you know choose how long notes will ring out and so you know this can help make pads sound fuller if you increase the sustain or maybe your drums sound tighter if you shorten up your kick a little bit uh, this is just incredibly handy I use transient shapers literally um, all the time. I tend to uh, like the one from Native Instruments. I use and uh, Isotopes one and then the soft tube one that comes with console one is really the main one that I find myself using. But if you do not have a transient shaper, get this free one, experiment with it. This is a pretty solid transient shaper. You might not even need to buy one, but if you do, this is at least will teach you kind of the beginnings of it and why you want to use it. Finally, the 10th plugin that Reason users should seriously consider getting is the T-Deesser. This is just a really nice, straightforward deesser, and deessers are great. There are ways to make deessers in Reason, but they're kind of a pain, and with this you can really focus on the processing. Basically, you choose how much of a gain reduction, how intense it's going to be, how sharp it will sound, and then kind of where you're trying to deess. So deessing is really important for vocals, whether it's rap, voiceover, or singing, as you hear me say singing, you know, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Uh, the essence of all of that is and that really kind of peaks and makes your song sound rough. You put one of these on, it'll smooth it out. Similarly, DSers can be really good for like um, guitar finger noise. Uh, they can be good sort of for ringing or um, certain like harsh frequencies in basses, acoustic guitars, even sometimes in drums. Um, couldn't recommend getting a free DSer enough. It'll really enhance your arsenal of tools and this is a really good place to start. Last but not least, we've got, like I said, just tons and tons of synths for free on Plugin Boutique. Other places I recommend going for free synths is uh, Spitfire Audio's Labs. That's a great set of free synths within the labs platform. I really hope you found this uh, enjoyable. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any free things that you think are must have for a reason. I've kind of tried to limit myself to that. Uh, so please do share your thoughts. I hope you enjoy these plugins and let me know how they worked out for you. Thanks.